My name is Paul Roth. I'm based in Los Angeles, where it's going to be sunny with a high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27C. And this is Paul and YouTube in the morning. <clears throat> Today, I talk about the upcoming March 7th LA special election. Uh, I used um, my official sample ballot. Uh, and then also, I used votersedge.org, a website, which is linked in the description of this video. I also use a bunch of other websites for local endorsements and voting guides to help compile the information uh, to make my choices. If you have any questions about voting in LA, about the process that I use, about the ballot, um, let me know in the chat of this video, of this uh, live show. Otherwise, I'm going to go through this sample ballot, uh, not in the order of um, Voter's Edge, but in the order of the pages themselves. So we'll go over each of these sections, and I'll tell you what my thoughts were. To get started, uh, I should say that votersedge.org is a great place to organize your ballot choices. It didn't have information about every candidate or every measure uh, to the degree that I wanted, but it was a good place for me to just keep track of, have I made a decision on this thing yet? So that's what that website is for. Hashtag not sponsored. Do, do, would voting websites even sponsor me? I don't know. Uh, let's start with page one of the sample ballot, which starts with Measure H. You might remember, you might recall that in the November election, there was a Measure HHH in Los Angeles, which was just to, to vote yes or no on providing services for LA's homelessness population. Uh, it, got a, it got an overwhelming positive response. And so this month's Measure H suggests a method for paying for those services by adding a, point, uh, a 0 0.25 cent tax on sales for 10 years. Yes, I don't even question that. I, that is, I will absolutely pay 0 0.25 cents per purchase in LA for 10 years if it'll help to provide services for homeless people here. Page two, the mayoral election. That one took me a while to get through. There are a, a frightening amount of candidates. Um, most of them didn't do much of anything for me. Uh, Eric Garcetti is the incumbent, and while his track record his track record wasn't the most exciting, it was a positive track record. Uh, and I'm okay sticking with someone who's doing good things. So even if it's not the most exciting, Garcetti gets my vote. Then we move to uh, city attorney, and there is no one running against Mike fewer for city attorney, and that's a shame, because even though he's been pretty good about environmental issues, he is anti-marijuana, and he is, I think, anti-Black Lives Matters. No, uh, I did not vote for him. That was the only option, was to either vote or not vote, and I chose not to vote for him. We are joined in the chat this morning by This Is Ewan. Good morning, Ewan. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to point out that I'm wearing my I Voted sticker that I got for my mail-in vote. Aha! I'm also wearing my Punch More Nazis shirt, just in general, a, a political statement. Punch More Nazis. Going back to the sample ballot, um, as opposed, in opposition to Mike uh, Fewer, there was Ron Galperin for city controller, again, on, running unopposed. But he seems to have a very good history of providing transparency in what happens to the city budget. So I was happy to give a, a, a positive check for Ron Galperin. And then for City Council, 13th District, a lot of people, a lot of people supported Mitch O'Farrell, um, who is the, I believe, the incumbent. But I, I preferred Sylvie Shane's campaign the most. She was the most pro-immigrant, anti-displacement of people who are already uh, living in, re in residences, um, pro-environment candidate, and she's also supporting Vision Zero, a, pro a uh, project to improve safety for pedestrians on LA streets. We're also joined by the uh, in the chat by Stephen Cash. Hi, Stephen. Just saw you yesterday. Uh, who asks, where did you get the shirt? That's a good question. I have the, I have the bookmark listed for this. It was a um, T Public shirt, T Public. But I'll put the actual link in the description of the video after I'm done. I'll make a note to myself. Link for shirt. OK. 
Uh, so yeah, I voted for Sylvie Shane for City Council 13th District. Moving on to page three, uh, there are two different pro-marijuana measures up for vote in LA. Um, they're both about keeping marijuana legal and doing taxation on marijuana activity. Measure M, as in mother, is supported by the city. Uh, measure N, as in Nancy, is supported by marijuana businesses. And just to kind of, just to kind of like separate out, so there's no conflict of interest. I'm voting for measure M, and no on N. So yes on M, no on N. But either way, it is for it, it, it's a, it's a pro marijuana approach, and it's just about taxation. Measure P on page three uh, increases the maximum harbor department leases from 50 years, five zero, to 66 years. And I actually don't like lengthening how long businesses are allowed to stay in place, kind of guaranteed, but businesses love it. And apparently everything I read says that it's going to be good for Los Angeles to do this. So, okay, I voted yes for it. Moving on to page four, we come to the very controversial Measure S, as in Stephen. Uh, if you live in LA, you've seen lots of billboards saying vote yes on S or vote no on S. It's all over the place. Um, and the whole point of it is whether or not to, uh, to implement a building moratorium stopping construction in the LA uh, city area for two years or not. Uh, and there are some really good arguments on both sides of this measure, but I think that the moratorium, the moratorium posed by Measure S would stifle construction too much. It would hurt the homelessness situation in LA. It would make it worse, um, and it would perpetuate the lack of low rent options for at least those two years. So I'm opposed to both of those things. I vote no for Measure S. And then finally, we come to the last page. This is a special election, so it's very short um, with regards to all the measures and candidates. Uh, and on this last page, we have the school districts, uh, school seats for the LA County, for the LA Community College district seats. I couldn't find very much to sway me one way or the other, so I basically followed all the liberal endorsements from some of the uh, newspapers and, and um, organizations that I also have linked in the description of this video. And I voted uh, for Steven Veers, Dallas Fowler, and Gabrielle Buelna. Um, on the other hand, for the LA, Uni LA Unified School District, a lot of people are voting for Monica Garcia, Monica Garcia, the incumbent, uh, but she seems too open to DeVos and Trump's school voucher initiative. And I do not like the, I do not like that uh, initiative, that concept. So I looked for alternatives and Lisa Alva, Lisa Alva has a good track record of doing the work for the school system and being a good teacher. So Alva got my vote for the LA Unified School District. And that's it, that's the whole, that is the whole sample ballot, that's the whole thing. I filled out my ballot and I mailed it in yesterday. Uh, and I thought I'd just go over my, my reasoning and my, pro and my procedure, I guess, <laughs> uh, for how I did that. I thought I did take some notes on, on my normal segments in case I had time to talk about any of those things. Um, and I think I'm going to mention <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a, on a positive. I'm going to go out on a positive here and say that the DuckTales trailer dropped. <laughs> yes, the cartoon that's coming to Disney XD, DuckTales, a reboot from the 90s. Uh, the trailer dropped, and it is delightful. I loved hearing the 10th Doctor, David Tennant's voice as Scrooge McDuck. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I did not include a link yet, but I'm going to include a link to that in the description of this video as well. Uh, and that, I think, is enough for today, for this Friday. I hope that you have a great Friday. I hope that you have a great weekend. Um, as usual, thanks for, oh, <laughs> in the chat, uh, this is Ewan said, I never realized you vote on so many things. I don't know if it's just a US thing or if it's worldwide, but certainly in the United States, every time there's any election, whether it's a primary election or a general election or a special election like this month's special election, um, there are oftentimes what are called referendums and measures where the people in the city or the community can vote on lots of different things. Um, it is very possible that in other countries you only get to vote for people, but we get to vote for things too. Ewan goes on to say, I don't think we vote on nearly as half of the things. We just vote from local counselors and hope they do the best they can. 
understandable. That is your representative democracy at work there. Uh, but we also have a little bit of direct democracy in that we can actually vote for measures also. Uh, thank you for everybody for tuning in. I hope this was not too boring. It is important to me to talk about politics. But uh, it is not important to my dog, Drew, who is continuing to just um, sleep through all of this. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I will see you hopefully on Monday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. And as always, tomorrow will be even better.